Well, if you heard my neck crack then, well done. Well done me, actually. Let me just turn this uh, volume down. Desktop audio off. Hi everyone. So I've gone live tonight because you know what? I think everybody should. It's getting to the stage where. Oh, let me. Um, Ooh. Sorry, you got some feedback there. I'm not the most technical person, uh, people. But I've gone live tonight because, you know what? I think we all should. Let's go live. Let's fight back against this. Get live. If you've got an internet connection, you know what? You don't have to be there. That's what I think. I, I was thinking tonight. I was thinking of a way to, because there's so many people, I've got so many messages from Assange supporters to say, how can I be there? How can I be there? How can I do what I, uh, whatever I need to do to get, to fight back? And not just Assange supporters, Assange, you know, people who don't like him, who still support the fact that, you know what, truth is truth and facts are facts. They should go live. And you know what? If enough of us do it, maybe we can make a difference. And you know what? <laughs> I think if enough, of the, if enough of us do it, there's no maybe about it. There, one of my favorite quotes from um, Game of Thrones, which is probably the best show ever, is from Varys, a spider. He says, power lies where men believes it lies so true do you think if 69 million people in the united kingdom went out into the streets right now and demanded change that it would happen very quickly you don't fucking right it would so let's go live we can't i i went to the grenfell thing last night and you know what by the way i'm going to be smoking cannabis tonight that's illegal in the United Kingdom. Shut this channel down. Shut it down. I'm not going to be glorifying it, but I am going to be doing it. Shut this channel down. Shut this live stream down right now if you think I'm breaking the law. And you know what? I know that that will probably get me put more publicity. It'd be a detraction. So you won't do that. And that's why I'm doing it. So, here's my grinder. It's awesome this is, by the way. Camden Market, uh, uh, Nag Z Market, £10. £10. And it's one of those ones that's got like uh, <clears throat> the three, uh, three sections. Right, we've got to fight back against it because this is nonsense. And the reason I'm doing this, hi everybody in the chat, I, I haven't gone to you yet, but, but and you probably think I'm crazy, but you know what, fucking hear me out. Because this is nonsense. Look at this shit, all right? Let me just set this up. I, I Honestly, I haven't set it up. I was going to do a video on it. I know I, the video was going to be really, really clever. And it was going to be, you know, oh, it was going to be this and that and the other. And it was going to have so many, you know, little quips by me. I had so many ideas as to how I could make it entertaining for you. And I just thought, this is fucking stupid. What the fuck are they doing? This is nonsense. Look at this shit. Honestly, it's fucking pathetic. Look at this shit. Uh, minus a full screen video. I, I think this is the right button. I think it is. Look at this shit. What are they fucking saying? Seriously, what are they trying to fucking say? 
that Iran tried to blow up some fucking tankers so they went back and took back one of those things that they didn't explode. So what the fuck? America, you have been piling sanctions on these motherfucking countries for fucking months over years, you know? Sanctions are still fucking war. This is nonsense. And the fourth estate are just standing by and going, well, this, says, uh, this side says this. And this side says this. And that, what that results in, what that results in, I will tell you what that results in right now. I will tell you what them saying, this side says this, and this side says this results in. I will tell you right now what that results in. That results in a woman walking past Hitch, Hitchron, my girlfriend, yesterday, and saying to her, outside a Westminster court, saying to her, I hope he rots in prison. That's what that results in. This woman was, I am not kidding you, in the middle of a very posh area and she was dressed very well and she was very well to do. And my girlfriend just, his friend just turned around to her and said, if you knew the truth, you would not think that. So you know what? Let's get together and tell the fucking truth. Let's do it right now. Right now, this is my, if you like it, my fucking, um, what's his name from <laughs> Bob Geldof. That's his moment. His moment was telling, give us your fucking money. This is me saying, give us your fucking live feed. If it bombs, I don't care, at least I fucking tried which is more than most of the MPs that are sitting there in Westminster right now can do. This is nonsense. And you know what? This channel has got 17,000 subscribers or something like that. It punches above its weight. I'm pretty sure it can fucking make some noise. So let's go, everyone. Okay. Let's see. Let's go live. Because this is nonsense. What the fuck? Are they? Come on! <laughs> you might as well be doing that. Because when, when the proof comes out from the OPCW and the OPCW reports that actually say, hold on a minute, that report that you put out last year that made three countries bomb Syria, an ally of Russia, a week after the Skripal nonsense, which nobody in the United Kingdom believes. I promise you, BBC, as hard as you fucking try, as hard as you try, the <laughs> nobody in the fucking country believes the line that you've put out on the script of poisonings. Nobody does. I promise you, as fucking, it's not, <laughs> it's not happened. Come on, let's get together, let's fucking sort this shit out, because if we get live, we can say, this is nonsense. This is fucking nonsense. What they are doing is nonsense. Look at, the, honestly, the video, the video I was about to put out, I, th I got back from London uh, tonight, and I thought I'll do some videos, and I thought, no, I've got to relax. It's been a tough week. It has been a roller coaster of a week. It really has. It's been tough. Let me have a drink. It's been a tough week. It's been emotional. But this has got to fucking stop. 
Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn. What the fuck, Jeremy Corbyn? Uh, Jeremy Hunt called you pathetic today. He called you pathetic. This is Jeremy Hunt who is echoing the United States rhetoric on this. Honestly, this. This. It might as well be this. It might as well be this. Lock this E with the fucking Iranian flag on it. It might as well be that. And if you look back in history, every single fucking war has been based on a false flag. That. And the media are going, well, this side say this, and this side say this. You make your. It's, it's honestly, Lloyd Grossman. Lloyd fucking Grossman could be our media right now. Lloyd Grossman. Well, whose false flag does this look like? David, it's over to you. This is nonsense. Who the fuck believes this shit that they're putting out? <laughs> when we, we were down at the Assange thing yesterday at the uh, Westminster Court, we were down there and <laughs> we were setting up. We, we got down there 10 minutes and I was finally, you know, I said hello to everybody and I finally got down as well. Okay, I've got to set up. And I'm setting up and, hit the, and we'd got a great, Great place to set up, and I'm sure you'll admit the, the stuff that I did from court was in a perfect position. We got there early, and we got there, and as we got there, Hitch was Hitch was setting up, and CNN, CNN came in and said, yeah, can we take this position, please, CNN? We're CNN. Can we take this position? And I'm setting up, and I'm doing tweets and etc. because it's just me. I haven't got... You know, the three or four people CNN that I had with them, it was just me and my girlfriend and the equipment that you had thankfully sent, you know, donations to to to, to fund this endeavour. And they were like, we're CNN. And you should, my girlfriend came up to me sheepishly and, and said, oh, bless her. She said, CNN asking politely. <laughs> I said, tell to fuck off. I love my girlfriend. She told them to fuck off. Not in so many words. Quite much more polite than I would. She even got to, at one point, she even said to them, come on. He's been covering this truthfully since the very start cnn aren't journalists are they and the guy sheepishly went i'm a journalist and when he said that honestly honestly hand on heart five people who who heard him say sheepishly i'm a journalist laughed in his face laughed in his face That's what's actually going on. And that's what the, the legacy media won't really tell you. That's what I tell you just from being on the ground. Can you imagine if there was a thousand of me outside Westminster Court? Seriously, you've got a fucking, you've got a, you've got a phone, haven't you? What's stopping you do what I do? Nothing. Absolutely fuck all. I'm not doing this for monetary fucking value. I'm not. If it comes, great. I've provided a service. But I'm not going to be funded by these giant fucking corporations who... Honestly, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit from, you know, YouTube... And I just look at it, and I, 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 because I have to look back on the TV at, the, at, at what I've put out just to make sure it's okay. I see the adverts sometimes. I don't want those adverts on my fucking channel, on my shit. I want to get away from it. Why can't we? 
It's a dollar a month. Come on. The BBC have just uh, just took 3.7 million pensioners. 3.7 million pensioners. They've just said to 3.7 million pensioners, you owe us £154 a year. Give it me. Now. You old bastard. Oh, well, I'm living on my own. I'm living on my own and I really can't afford it. Oh, well, then that's okay. But most people who are pensioners don't want to say, I'm living on my own. We're British. We're proud. Most people are proud. It's not just a British thing. It's a fucking national thing. It's a global thing. Most people are proud. We've got to stop this shit because this is nonsense. They are going to take us to fucking war if we let them. And I swear to God, it's close. They are fucking locking a journalist up right now in Belmarsh prison. They are locking him up in a supermax prison for publishing the truth. Can you imagine what would have happened if the media, when... When when the revelations came out about about Julian Assange, by the way, back then when you think about it, when he came out about you know collateral murder and the whole you know all the stuff that went on with the Guardian and the Washington Post and the New York Times, it was huge, wasn't it? It was massive. You've seen the Hollywood movie. You've seen the Luke Harding version, the Benedict fucking Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch, you motherfucker. Julian Assange begged you not to do that fucking role and you did it every anyway. Why? It was the fucking false. The guy in that movie, the guy in that movie who was the main part in that movie, the, the, the Fifth Estate, whatever the fuck it was, based on a Luke Harding novel that he wrote, that he got a million pounds for, something like that, that Oliver Stone refused to direct because it was based on bullshit. That motherfucker in there that main guy in there with a the little beard in his... Oh, it was an FBI informant all along and Julian Assange knew. Did they tell you that in the fucking movie? No, they fucking didn't. Why do I know that? Sitting here in a council flat and the New York Times don't. But they do. And that's the whole point and that's why I'm going live. We've got to fucking stop this. This is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. They're going to fucking go to war. Forty thousand people in Venezuela. Forty thousand. 40,000 people, 40,000 Venezuelans have died in the last three or four years as a direct result of the sanctions that the United States and the United Kingdom government have put upon them and the OMF. 40,000. How many bombs would it take to kill 40,000 people? Think about it. How many bombs would it take to kill 40,000 people? If you average bomb kills, I don't know, five people? That's 8,000 bombs. Congratulations. 8,000 bombs. Raytheon just made a killing, didn't it? Lockheed Martin just made a killing, didn't it? Well, last year, 100 or so Raytheon missiles were fired at Syria. They were fired at Syria. Do you remember? 100 nod? You might have seen the... Uh, <laughs> we had a 26% approval for that in the United Kingdom, by the way. That was the best poll. From the people I asked, nobody was in favour of bombing, bombing Syria. Not a single person. They did it anyway. Do you know who profited from that? Theresa May's husband. Do you know that? 
Theresa May's husband. Theresa May's husband has a hedge fund um, with large amounts of shares in Boeing and Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. The very people who bombed Syria last year. And if you actually look back, and this is honestly, I'm not. This is not fake news. Let's just look back at the spike in the share price of Raytheon and Boeing after the Syria bombings last year and after every single military action. It always goes up. Chris Mike's husband profited from it. To the tune of... <laughs> you tell me, investigative reporters of the fourth estate who have millions of dollars at your disposal and don't fucking report on it in the guardian and the independent and the bbc and the times the fuck is going on with you we are in the middle of a war right now a war and you're not telling the public about it you're not doing it Hybrid warfare. Like I said, 40,000 Venezuelans have died as a direct result of the sanctions that America have put on it and by extension, the United Kingdom, the IMF, blah, 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 blah. All because this country wanted to... <laughs> it had the had the tenacity to say that we don't like the way the rest of the planet is going can we just you know rely on our own resources and do things the right way maybe not put our money and attach the value of our money to that black stuff that we've got under underneath our own country which would make our own country very very rich if only we bent over and grabbed our ankles to the imperialism of the united states but the thing is people like maduro and chavez and venezuela they know history and they know bending over and grabbing your ankles to an imperialist machine that he's going to fuck you up the arse religiously. Not the way to go. No matter how, my, uh, how rich you may get in the interim period. Let's go live, people. This is nonsense. What the fuck are we doing? This is nonsense. There's a guy in Supermax in the United Kingdom right now because he published the truth that somebody had given him. I mean, one of the charges, one of the charges against him, one of the main charges against him is that he attempted to hack a password. Do you know what he, the reason he, why he did that? To cover his sources escape <clears throat> to help his source maybe you know mask hide herself to 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 protect his source his or herself that's like lesson number one of journalism <laughs> honestly it really is lesson number one. Go to journalism school. Protect your fucking source. Go to journalism school. Even your most fucking stupid journalism school, which is obviously whatever journalism school spews out the fucking shit that we've got in The Guardian right now, and the BBC. Look out the fucking window and report what you see. It's not difficult. You assholes! Are you all Barry Weiss? Are you all that fucking wrapped up in your own cocoons that you can't look out the window and see what's outside your office? Are you all fucking 
reliant on other people's opinions to form what is the fucking truth to you? I'm having a joint and I'm stopping live. Nine o'clock. This is really nonsense. They don't realise in, they really don't realise in London, the middle of London. They don't realise fascism's here. It's, it's, it's nonsense. Jamie Hunt, Jamie Hunt is like, we stand by the United States' opinion of this. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you stand by the equivalent of that photo as your proof? After pressuring and strangling this, you've strangled the fuck. It's like they're strangling the fuck out of a woman they're raping. And then that white that woman slaps them in the face and they go, oh, you bitch. Oh. And the thing is, they're even getting to the point where they're having to manufacture the slap in the face. This is fucking nonsense. Why aren't our media calling it out for what it is? Well, it's obvious. They're not objective. They rely on that, that fairness and balance bullshit, which is why we all have an internet connection, go live and say, what the fuck is going on? This is fucking stupid. We cannot continue with this. No matter how dumbed down by fucking the media you are, you must understand this for what it is. Surely you do. Hey everybody in the ch in chat. This is stupid. We can't continue like this. I'll be back in a second by the way guys. I'm just going to go to the have a break. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everyone. It's like seriously, I got, I've got I got, I've got to I've got to hide the fact that I'm having a whiskey and coke and a fucking joint right now. I'm t I can't go live and do that. I can't go live and smoke a joint and have a whiskey. But you can manufacture this bullshit about fucking Iran bonding. What the fuck? This is stupidity. We haven't got a government in this country. We're just letting the fucking deep state or whatever the fuck it is, MI6, just, they've took control of the whole country. What the hell is going on? It's the same in America.
Did <laughs> somebody just say I was sound like a plant? <laughs> <laughs> they'll turn me down I know they will I'll, t I'll do something and they'll turn me down meanwhile the mainstream media will continue with their <laughs> series of bullshit unhindered do you think that fucking Rachel Maddow do you think that she suffered any consequences whatsoever For, th for three years of pushing a, a fact-free conspiracy theory that uh, Donald Trump was Vladimir Putin's puppet. Do you think she'll face any consequences at all? Think about it. She's still on, what's it, Friday night? She'll be still on tonight, spouting her shit. Won't she? Her, her ratings have taken a dip, but she'll still be on there. She still have her apartment over, overlooking Central Park. $10 million, whatever it is. She'll still, um, she'll still have a wonderful family. Whatever, whatever the, whatever it is, you know, they want to call themselves and it's like, you know, two genders. Kind of biological, but you know. But hey, she's the liberal media's queen. John Stewart thinks she's great. You remember John Stewart from the Daily Show? Uh, Daily Show. He thinks she's great. Remember that? John Stewart from the Daily Show, who you all loved. It does make you wonder what happened to these people. What the fuck happened to them? I mean, at some stage during their lives, they must have felt like I did. They must have felt like you did. At some stage, they must. They must have. What changed? What my what what are you smoking? Um, fast buds, Mexican Mexican Airlines. It's a pure sativa as well, which is really rare. A really rare, apparently. Uh, Gordon Dimmock. Plenty of people here have LGBT relations or friends. Don't confuse RM with something else. I'm not, mate. Live and let live is my. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't care. You could be fucking goats, for all I care, I don't care. You could pretend you're a vole, fucking, that's your sex and that's who you are. Who am I to judge, you know? What do I know, you know, you've ended up in your spirit. Honestly. That's the way I feel. Honestly, that's the way most people feel, feel as well. Most people are just like, well, I don't care. The Natural Progressive says, I will be going live later today. What did I miss while the power was out? All the same. I have no idea. What's the same? This is nonsense. How the fuck can we put up with this? It's nonsense. <laughs> Look at this. Find this.
Who do you think? Iran is going to attack us. Even if we have to do it ourselves. Essentially, that, 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 that is what America is saying right now. And that's what Jeremy Hunt is saying. Yes, we can cope with. 100% we can cope with this. Are you fucking out of your mind, Jeremy Hunt? What the fuck? Dude. And then the BBC. The BBC printed an article as if Jeremy Corbyn says, we should wait. Hmm. We should wait. Hmm. I think we should. And the BBC is uh, the BBC print an article as if he's got three heads for saying we should wait. <laughs> they treat Jeremy Corbyn like a leper for doing what any normal sane person would do and say are you fucking kidding me? This is total bollocks, come on. Go and fucking ask somebody in the street. Seriously, go out of your door right now, you posh twat, whatever the fuck you are in that fantasy world. Walk however many miles it is until you reach a fucking estate where normal people live and ask them. They will tell you you're full of shit. You're full of shit. This is fucking nonsense. And yet Jeremy Hunt, aka the fucking love child of Joseph Kerbals and an amoeba, tells you it's true. So you repeat it and say, well, Jeremy Hunt said this, and Jeremy Corbyn said that. You decide. Like I said, it's like Lloyd Grossman. Well, on the one hand, we've got an imperial army with a million, 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 gazillion dollars behind it and seven years to prepare his defense. And on the other hand, we've got one man who's been gagged for 14, 15 months, who's been incarcerated for seven years, who's been shut off and isolated and tortured in a supermax prison with the boot of the impressor firmly on his fucking neck. And the media go, you decide. Are you fucking kidding me? I went to imperialism on trial. I only managed to go to one. I did honestly, George Galloway for the second one. I, 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 I said to, I said to Hitch, I, I would love to go. I really would, but I'm so honestly that second day. I had imperialism on trial the first night and the second night I wanted to go to it because George Galloway was there, he's my hero. I, I knew I would get an interview with one of my heroes. And I was so angry, I caused a massive scene in the middle of a fucking Five Guys restaurant. I was angry. This has to fucking stop. This is nonsense. Look at what the fuck we are doing. And the media go, you decide as to what's true. Are you fucking kidding me? The fuck is wrong with you? So yeah, I'm going live. I'm going to stop live until I st stop. And hopefully a few people who watch this stream will get, you know what, a little bit animated and do whatever the fuck they can do. Or maybe they'll get other people involved who can, you know, amplify. 
Let's just fucking stop it. I love Game of Thrones. I really do. I love that. Love that program. As most of you watching this will do. I mean, you know, if you've seen it, how can you not? And one of my favourite characters in it was uh, the Spider, Varys. He was a good character in it. And he died. Spoiler alert. Was actually being a good, good guy. And he said throughout, power lies where men believe it lies. For every one of those motherfuckers from Russia with a sir in front of their name who's got a wing at Oxford University right now and a fucking a, a wing at the Tate Modern. A Russian guy who bought his way into it and then got a knighthood who just happens to be the third or fourth fucking richest motherfucker in this country. How British do you think he is? How British? Come on, Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson, come on. I, d I avoid people like Tommy Robinson because my audience is split with him because they think he's a truth teller. I'm going to tell you, Tommy Robinson, where the fuck are you in Julian Assange? Hmm? Where the fuck are you? Come on, motherfucker, Tommy Robinson, the speaker of truth, the all oh, fighter of power. Where the fuck are you? Nowhere to be fucking seen. Nowhere. You know why? Do you know why? I'll tell you why to all those fans of Tommy Robinson who don't fucking realise that he's a sellout. He's paid by Zionists. That's who he's funded by. That's why he's very, very, very anti-Arab. And very, very, very quiet when it comes to free speech. That he says he's all for. Where the fuck was he at Westminster Court yesterday? Eh? Where were you, Tommy? I've got 17,000 subscribers. You've got millions. Where the fuck were you? Nowhere to be seen because you're bought and paid for already. Aren't you? Go fuck yourself. I might even take some calls tonight. Seriously. Might even take some calls. I'm that fucking pissed off. I'm that annoyed. And nobody seems to want to say it. Why, does, why don't democracy now come out and say? Why doesn't Amy, Amy Goodman come out and say, yeah, uh, the United States and the United Kingdom have been involved in uh, hybrid warfare for about 18 months against Russia and China and whatever. Why don't they come out and say it? Are they afraid they're going to get a fine? Go fuck yourself, whoever finds you. Get the people on your side. And this is the scene of something that the press the other day, yesterday, they didn't understand with me. I don't give a fuck. I saw the ABC News lady laughing at me when I gave my speech. I saw her. You got your question in, didn't you? Go watch my footage back. Go see if your footage was closer to the truth than mine. And then go fuck yourself. You blonde whore. Because that's what you are. You're a whore to the establishment. You get paid a very good wage. I'm sure you are very well educated. They always are. Strangely enough, <laughs> these so-called journalists, they're all educated from the same fucking places. It's almost like it's designed that way. So they're all saying the same fucking shit over and over again.
I'm gonna go and try how hi to everybody because I, I how how long I've been going. Let's see. I'm sorry, everybody. You know what? I'm not gonna apologize. No, I'm not fucking sorry. Fuck you. I don't, I, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Good on you, Gordon. I'm not sorry either. Uh, 45 minutes. I've been talking for 45 minutes. I'm pissed off. I really am pissed off. And if you're not pissed off, I don't know why the fuck not. If you've been following the news like I have, and if you know even like half of what is true you should be fucking pissed off right now i'm pissed off what the fuck are you trying to pull <laughs> and on twitter earlier i was um I, I, on the on the train back from London, I uh, on the train back from London, I, I was writing some stuff down. I tend to just jot things down because the otherwise, if I don't write them down, I forget them, and that's how I build, you know, the videos that I put out. This is the video I'm going to be pointing out tomorrow. Seriously, this is the video. John Bolton, this is from The Onion. This is from The Onion. You know The Onion? That satirical online... <laughs> Honestly, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> the Onion really don't give two fucks right now. They have for quite a while. Since I think since Trump went to, since Trump since Trump got elected, they just went ah, sod it. <laughs> Let's just go full truth. This headline: John Bolton, an attack on two Saudi oil tankers, is an attack on all Americans. They put that out over a month ago. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is stupid. Come on, the, the people have to rise up and go, come on, media, what the fuck are you doing? This is preposterous. This is pathetic. The media are repeating this over and over. Have you noticed that? They do it non-stop. Why don't you get in their faces and turn up on that doorstep and go, what the fuck are you talking about? There were 50 of them yet there yesterday at the at magistrate at the at the, at the at the Westminster magistrates when I gave my speech to that megaphone which I did not I didn't prepare in fact <laughs> Emily, Emily I love you so much she really had to talk me into giving that speech she really had to talk me into grabbing that bullhorn Thank you so much for doing that, Emily. You know I'm... I'm a little bit um, introverted. But come on. I was there in front of, what, 40 or 50 journalists? They were... Mm, cowering! Cowering! One guy in his 40s. 40 or 50 of them. They were... One blonde bitch laughing because she didn't fucking understand the clue of what was going on. Didn't have a clue. <laughs> Whoever the fuck you are from ABC News, go fuck yourself. 
if you really are a person of good standing and you really want to, you know, be somebody who will be thought of well <laughs> in the future, <laughs> sit down, have a chat. Because you are so fucking far out of touch, it's unreal. You've cheered on a person, you've cheered on that person. You've cheered on the alienation and you've cheered on the slandering and the smearing and the of that per of Julian Assange. You've done it. You profited from it. You probably got a few trinkets in your New York apartment. Hope it's worth it. I hope selling out your integrity was worth it. Because that's what you've done. The fourth estate, it's meant to hold power accountable. You're almost above the law because your profession is so noble. Go fuck yourselves. You've abdicated your duty. The mainstream media, Fleet Street, legacy media, whatever the fuck you call it, go fuck yourselves. You've abdicated your duty to the populace of the fucking world. The BBC is the largest, the largest media corporation on the planet. 35,000 employees or something like that. 35,000 directly employed. The largest on the planet. Do you know what their <laughs> official narrative is on the Skripal poisonings? Russia did it. It was Novichok and no other fucker could have done it. There you go. Do you know what? The OPCW's findings were on that script old poisoning. Russia did it. It could be no other fucker. Curiously, about 10 days after the script old poisonings that the OPCW investigated, you may remember that there was the small matter of... Um, an incident in Douma, in Syria. Do you remember that? Douma? United Kingdom government? Go fuck yourselves, by the way, if you're watching. Go fuck yourselves. I've got a mind. I'm educated. I can fucking look at what's right and what's wrong. You're wrong. Very fucking wrong. In Duma, apparently, get this, Bashar al-Assad, who is, who was the president of Syria, who is the president of Syria, sorry, this is the story, he, um, he dropped some chemical weapons in a town that he was about to overrun, obliterate, and they, 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 they were all like, yeah, we've lost. <laughs> it's like, they, they were throwing down their weapons in Duma. Just as that happened, the official narrative is, he said, let's cast them with chlorine. And drop them from a helicopter that can be tracked by Western powers. Let's do that. Now, I don't know um, whether you know this, but Sun Tzu, um, the great Chinese tactician, 
war commander, whatever you want to call him. Who does say that when your enemy is about to be defeated and victory is within your grasp, gash your enemies so that powers far greater than you will come down and destroy you <laughs> and ruin everything you fucking built for the last god knows how long. It's interesting, you know. What I find most interesting in my research on Assad and Syria and whatever is how much Assad was actually lauded in the press. If you go back to a previous pre pre what I will say is if you go back to pre uh, operation Timber Sycamore operation Timber Sycamore was the um and you can look at this, by the way, if you're listening to this, you can easily open a browser and literally put in Wikipedia Operation Ticket at Timber Sycamore, and that page will come up. And it will tell you how in 2011, 2012, Barack Obama had sanctioned the CIA to co-opt a an uprising in what was known as the so-called arab spring co-opt it and sort of piggyback on behind a real democratic uprising to fund terrorists to hijack that democratic uprising yeah Barack obama yeah, I know it sucks, doesn't it? If you're watching this and you both have voted for Barack Obama twice, no, listen, I'm not going to shame you, but seriously, he was um, he was funding terrorists. He was doing it. He was funding terrorists. It sucks, I know. When I found out, it sucked because I thought Barack Obama was great. When you find out the truth, you realise that, you know what, it's really just a theatre. They're playing it out in front of you. The media are complicit in it. This is why it's so important that you invest in independent media. Let me tell you the truth. Greg Palast, the great the journalist Greg Palast, he won a, he won a fucking award last week. Greg Palast did. I was amazed. Honestly, I was fucking amazed. Um, Alan Massey, uh, Alan Massey won an award for um, his reporting on uh, Russiagate, but it was a you know it wasn't a fucking Pulitzer, and he should do. I think anybody watching this will agree that Alan Massey's reporting on Russiagate, if there was a just world. He would get a Pulitzer. Um, I'd also like to, personally, if I was to get a vote, to drop in Jordan Chariton there as well for his reporting on Flint, Michigan. Which Rachel Maddow reported on once and seemed to forget in favour of a fact-free conspiracy theory that <laughs> blamed... Russia for all America's problems. Tulsi Gabbard says one Waliki. I've got some videos coming on uh, Tulsi Gabbard. She's wonderful. <laughs> Impeach Trump? Fuck that shit. Yeah. Come on, Tulsi. They're going to take me down, by the way. They're going to take me down. I know they are. 
I don't care. I'm I'm doing this stream just to prove to them how ridiculous this is. This is nonsense. Come on. And Jeremy Corbyn. By the way, Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn's having to the BBC are like oh Jeremy Corbyn he's gone against the, he's gone against the British what the fuck it's John Bolton it's Mike Pompeo it's Donald Trump are you not fuck, why are you not laughing at this and putting footy, funny why is spitting image not back on the fucking television right now what the fuck is going on this guy has got a moustache like a walrus Can you imagine John Bolton as a fucking spitting image puppet? Honestly, it would be it would it would be the best thing since <laughs> Michael Hesseline is a spitting a spitting image puppet. Honestly, this is stupid. We got to put it. This is nonsense. You've got to agree with me, guys and girls. Isn't this nonsense in the chat? I haven't seen any chat, actually. Don't know how many people are here. <coughs> this is nonsense, isn't it? We have to fucking break through this. This is nonsense. And then they're spewing it on the BBC, Channel 4, and fucking ITV right now. They are spewing it right now. As if, oh, could Iraq have done this? I mean, Iran. Nonsense. There you go. Volume media. Well, your mainstream media, your BBC, your ITV, your Channel 4, and the United Kingdom. Well, they are all talking about, ooh, what could this mean? With the bombs and the satellites and the granny footage and the people in the boats and the. What could it all mean? I mean, we haven't investigated. We haven't investigated Christopher Steele and Pablo Miller and all this business, uh, all this business intelligence. We were warned off from that. We to we were told, "Don't you investigate that? This is this is this is spy stuff, and we are good, and we are true, and we have never told lied to you before, and we've always done the right thing." So, and our media have gone, okay. News flash media. Yeah, those motherfuckers are liars. <laughs> and if you're just bending over right now for them, then you're prostitutes. I don't know, the, the, the great James Ball replied to me the other day. Did you know that, people? The great, the great James Ball from The Guardian, he replied... He said, the Guardian's view, we shouldn't extradite Assange. Did you know that? That's what he said. That's his defense. James Ball's defense. His defense for seven years of smearing and slandering 
Assange and for making out that his supporters are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for believing that there was a sealed indictment. <laughs> Fucked up there, didn't you, Jimbo? <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Bollock. You really did fuck up there, didn't you, Mr. Bollock? You really did fuck up there. <laughs> Turns out, oh, wait a minute, there was a fucking sold indictment all along. You were wrong all along, weren't you, Mr. James Bollock of The Guardian, who seemed to pop up in my mentions and say, oh, we don't know. No, go fuck yourself. WikiLeaks fired you. You're a cunt. Please, please, if we are in the vicinity of each other, and I don't realize you're there. Come and introduce yourself to me. I would really like that opportunity to meet you. James Bollock of The Guardian. And that invitation ex extends to Carol Cudwallah and George Monbiot. Twat. This is nonsense. This is fucking stupid. We've got a fucking internet connection. We understand what's going on. Assange is being persecuted like Jesus says, two tears in the bucket. You're fucking wrong. Jesus had 12 friends. Calm down, Gordon, or they'll have you in Rampton tonight, says Keith M. I don't know what Rampton is, Keith. Rampton. Rampton. By the way, I want to tell you something. I want to show you something. I would show you it actually, but I can't. This this is a genuine NFL shirt. It's a genuine NFL shirt. It cost me the equivalent, if I remember right, it's about five years ago. It's about 150 pounds taxes and etc it fell to pieces within six months fell to pieces a knockoff I got from China I still have it's actually down in London otherwise I'd show it you but I still have and it's pristine <laughs> a knockoff I got from China that was a third of the price and that may be is um, one of the reasons why there's a massive trade war at the moment with China and a massive hybrid war at the moment with Russia and China. This is one of the reasons why I said that I was going to go live. All right. Rampton is a mental hospital for the criminal, criminally insane, says J.D. Doe. Thank you for that, mate. Is it MI6? Rampton. The Guardian's address. I'm so pissed off. I really am. I'm so pissed off. I feel like people just, you know. What the f this is fucking nonsense what's going on. It's nonsense. 
anybody, honestly, anybody, anybody with a fucking brain in their head right now looking at this can say, this is nonsense. And they're carrying on like it's just, this is fact. The fuck is going on? This is stupidity, is what it is. And the media are like, ooh. <laughs> the, the media, the, honestly, the media in this country are like, did Iran attack that tank and what did, what the fuck? <laughs> and seriously, what the fuck is going on? Does anybody believe that shit? But they carry on with it. It's fact. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, I'm going to knock off. Honestly, guys, you gotta fucking get people, get people involved in this. Get people involved in this. It was a, this was an imp impromptu stream, and I thought I'd I'd just go on and just make some noise because <laughs> this is nonsense. You gotta stand up to how preposterous this is. It's fucking hilarious. Julian Assange right now is spending 50, 50 weeks in Supermax prison for fucking publishing documents that somebody else gave him. For doing the, for doing the job of a journalist. And the media laugh at me when I say they've got blood on their hands. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. what the fuck's going on? I'm, I, I'm gonna go and have a few whiskeys and a few joints and um, <laughs> yeah I'm going to enjoy the rest of the evening and I'm going to keep fighting and keep putting shit out and keep keep saying to people this is nonsense because <laughs> it's history repeating itself I remember this. I've been through this. You've been through it too. But this is... This is even funnier. And the, the, the thing that amazes me, it, it amazes me that they're getting away with it, is the BBC. The BBC are actually bringing out Tony Blair. And saying this is what Tony Blair thinks. We've got to think what we, we we need to know what Tony Blair thinks. Really? Did we need to know what Peter Sutcliffe thought? Did we need to know what Myra Hindley thought? No, we didn't, did we? We just thought, hope that motherfucker rots in jail, rots in hell. Why did the BBC think the public think any different about Downey Blair? 
Michael Henley killed what half a dozen people. How many did Peter Sutcliffe? Tony Blair, his lies killed nearly a million, maybe even over that. Certainly in six figures. Certainly. So why the fuck do the BBC seem to think that the public care what he thinks? This is how out of touch your media is. This is how fucked up the world is right now. Stand up for it. Go live. Tell the media they suck. Get in their fucking faces every single opportunity you can get in their faces make them make them feel a little bit uncomfortable they won't be laughing so <laughs> Julian Assange <laughs> they won't be laughing at that if you get right in their fucking faces and you tell them that, you know what, this wouldn't, this wouldn't have been allowed if it wasn't for their seven year campaign of hate. They facilitated this. They helped it on. They, they cheered it on. They do not get to take the moral high grander now and say, oh, we stand with the fourth estate. No, you don't get to fucking do anything like that. You fucked up. You broke the social contract of the fucking people. They trusted you to be the fourth estate and you blew it. You fucked up. Reuters, Reuters, motherfuckers Reuters sat on, sat on the Jeffrey Sachs report. They sat on that report for a month before they reported it. I reported it. Jamal P Thomas reported it. Jimmy Dore reported it. Kokolinski reported it. Mike Figueredo reported it. It took Reuters a month. A month to report on the fact that 40,000 Venezuelans had died as a direct result of American sanctions. For a month, they sat on it. All the time while Juan Guaido was trying to get his hooks into power, hooks into government so they, Americans can, you know, prop up their dollar, which is based in, by the way, it's, it's called the petrodollar because it's based in oil. You, you did know that, didn't you? Eh? You did know that and you did know that the problems with Saudi Arabia because blah, 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 and Khashoggi and China and uh, Belt and Road. If you don't know about the Belt and Road Initiative, I hope you should, you should have a conversation with somebody who knows what the fuck they're talking about then. You won't get any of those at the BBC or The Guardian or The Independent or The Times or The New York Times or The Washington Post for even that matter. What you get at The New York Times is Barry Weiss. Tony! What's a toady, Barry? <laughs> Don't ask me a question. Don't know what the fuck I... <laughs> I haven't got people around me telling me back me up. It's a thing, isn't it? I'm going to go and watch Jimmy. His live stream has just started, I've heard. Go over there and watch Jimmy Door. Subscribe to him. He's the main man. Hopefully this may this 
stream made some sense. I'm fucking angry. And you should be too. This is nonsense what's going on right now. The one, the one MP that has stood up and talked about this shit is suspended from the fucking Labour Party. Jeremy Corbyn, go fuck yourself if you think that you're the person I'm going to get behind. You wouldn't know the truth if it came up and beat you on the end of the nose and said, hello, my name's Truth McTruth and I'm from Truth to Shire. What the fuck are you with Chris Williams and Jeremy Corbyn? Go fuck yourself. You're part of the fucking problem. Jeremy Hunt just called you pathetic in a tweet. He just called you pathetic and you can't even say this is nonsense. You can't even tweet out this is stupid. Go fuck yourself, Jeremy Corbyn, if you think I'm going to think that you're, you're my saviour. You can't stand up for what's right. You are part of the fucking problem. If you're part of the problem, move the fuck aside. I don't give a fuck what party you're from. I really don't. And you know what? I think most of the United Kingdom don't give a fuck what party you're from right now. You are not doing the right fucking thing. Be a man, is he? Grow a backbone. Chris Williamson did. Look how he's been treated. Thanks very much for watching. I, I, I had no clue where this stream was going to go when I started it. I hope it made sense. I hope somewhere somebody actually fucking got inspired to do something. This is nonsense. The fuck is going on? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. Well, I'm older than 20. Thanks very much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. To anybody who sent me super chats, I'll get to them in my next stream. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I had to go live. This is stupid. We're on the verge of World War Three because our media are lying motherfuckers who haven't got a backbone. Peace. Take care.